Hundreds of Milwaukee residents dropped off electronics as nearly 32 tons of e-waste was collected during the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge in that city alone. The Milwaukee Department of Public Works kept things organized and flowing smoothly as cars lined up to drop off electronics for recycling. The collection site offloaded an average of three cars per minute. The electronics are often called e-waste or e-scrap. Officials say 706 cars dropped off electronics at the collection site located in a large parking lot south of the Italian Community Center just west of the Summerfest grounds. This collection site was within eyeshot of Lake Michigan near the Henry Meyer Festival Park better known as the Summerfest grounds where the world's largest musical festival is held. The one-day collection event organized by the City of Milwaukee DPW was held on April 26, 2008. More than two-thirds of the collection involved computers and related equipment. The Milwaukee DPW collected 643 computer monitors weighing over 10 tons. That's 21,188 pounds of computer monitors. And residents dropped off 338 televisions weighing nearly 13,200 pounds. That's over 5 tons of TVs from City of Milwaukee homes. Other computer-related equipment turned in included nearly 15,100 pounds of personal computers. That's over 7 tons of PCs alone. Nearly 5 tons of computer printers were turned in. That adds up to 9,148 pounds of printers. 8% of the collection, nearly 5,000 pounds, involved miscellaneous e-waste like cell phones and other electronic items. Much of America's electronic waste contains hazardous materials, including lead, mercury, and heavy metals that can pose a risk to human and environmental health through the release of toxins into the air and water. During a press conference, EPA, DPW, and other Milwaukee officials said the recycling of electronics is needed to avoid unwanted pollution and divert waste from the landfills. Particularly talking about protecting Lake Michigan and the environment. As we all know, the Great Lakes are an irreplaceable national treasure. They are the largest source of fresh water on Earth and they provide drinking water to over 33 million of us. They are also vital to commerce and recreation in the upper Midwest. Recycling unwanted electronics and medicines will help prevent contaminants from polluting the Great Lakes as well as the waterways that empty into the Great Lakes. The EPA awarded grants to numerous cities participating in the challenge, including the city of Milwaukee. It's called the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. A total of over 100 communities and organizations have stepped up around the Great Lakes to meet this challenge. The city of Milwaukee and the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District are amongst 26 communities and organizations around the Great Lakes selected to receive a total of $500,000 in EPA grants. So recovering these products is uh, not only important to protect the groundwater and Great Lakes and, and uh, the environment, but it's also important for our economy because we're restoring some very valuable materials uh, that, that uh, uh, otherwise would would be uh, acquired through uh, through mining and, and other destructive environmental practices. So we're very happy um, to be able to offer the opportunities for the public to recycle uh, both computer equipment and um, and through at our ongoing self-help sites um, and then also televisions at our one-day event. Uh, recycling televisions and computers reduces the risks of toxins contained in these products being released into our air and water. Too often, unwanted household electronics are thrown out and end up at the landfill. That's what we want to end. In fact, discarded electronics are the fastest growing segment of municipal solid waste, of the municipal solid waste stream. The uh, electronics products that, as the mayor mentioned, are, are the fastest growing um, sector of the municipal solid waste stream is something that's important to the city of Milwaukee and, and a lot of communities because 
of the some of the hazardous components that can be found in these products and uh, that's why it's so important to keep them out of the landfill so that uh, some of the lead cadmium mercury other uh, precious metals that uh, could uh, leach into the groundwater so that we keep those um, you know we get them responsibly recycled and uh, protect our environment uh, there is a cost to do that and and uh, and uh, that's why we're very grateful to the US EPA for this grant. Event partners included the US Environmental Protection Agency, the City of Milwaukee Department of Public Works, Keep Greater Milwaukee Beautiful, the Italian Community Center, Midwest Computer Recyclers, and WISN TV. You can't just throw them in the trash, but you can recycle them for free. Join WISN 12 in the City of Milwaukee for the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. For more information on the City of Milwaukee collection, call Rick Myers at DPW at 414-286-2334. That's 414-286-2334. There was also another successful challenge collection in Milwaukee. On Saturday, April 19th, the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District held its third annual Medicine Collection Day. Named a prescription for clean water and safe kids, the pharmaceutical collection was held in Milwaukee, Racine, Ozaukee, and Washington counties. The uh, challenge grant that you just heard about is a challenge that MMSD takes seriously every day. We work very hard to keep pollutants out of the waterways and really try to protect Lake Michigan. This keeps it out of the waterways and, and makes it a, a more livable place for all of us in Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District distributed nearly 200,000 postcards promoting the event that had been widely publicized by area media. The Earth Healing Initiative distributed the final 5,000 cards to interfaith contacts in the Milwaukee area. The Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative thanks our local interfaith liaison in Milwaukee, Reverend Brad Brown, campus pastor at Marquette University Lutheran Campus Ministry. The Milwaukee events were among a hundred projects involving hundreds of communities across eight states around the Great Lakes Basin that participated in the challenge. The EPA says the challenge was an easy way for everyone to take part in protecting the Great Lakes. The goal of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was the collecting and recycling of one million pounds of electronics, plus the collection and proper disposal of one million pills. Organizers say the collection far exceeded those goals. The Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative assisted challenge organizers by offering interfaith liaisons to volunteer and encourage members of local churches and temples to participate in the Earth Day related events in their area. This video on the projects connected to the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA's Region 5 office in Chicago and the EPA Great Lakes National Program office also in Chicago in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.